than one calls answered by Geauga County operators give a glimpse into what it was like to be inside Chardon High on Monday. News Channel 5's Alicia Ciccoloni listened to emergency calls for help as the 17-year-old gunman opened fire on his classmates. It was like any other Monday at Chardon High School until just before 8 a.m. when the first 911 phone call came from inside the cafeteria. Sheer terror spread through the entire school. 911, where is your emergency? We just had we just had a shooting at our school. We need to get out of here. Oh my okay. God, a okay, ma'am, we got a school shooting. Ma'am, what school? Chardon High School. Chardon High School. Yes, ma'am. All right. Can you go get the administration? Okay. Everyone's running away, so. Where's the I don't student know. with the gun? I don't know. He was in the cafeteria and everyone just started running. Do you see the shooter? No, I didn't. I just saw, like, the gun. Okay, did you see the gun? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now listen to me. Listen to me. Where are you at? I'm outside the school right now. We hear this, the sirens. That was right by the shooter when he pulled the gun. Those students made it out of the school, but this call came from a group that went into a room to hide. Are you locked in the room that you're in? Uh, no. Can you lock the door? Can anybody lock the door? No, we cannot lock the door. We just need somebody down here. We are. We're getting them there. And police, SWAT, and other Geauga County authorities were there within minutes of the calls. The alleged shooter arrested not long after that. But the terror still remains. Alicia Ciccoloni, News Channel 5. The shooting at Chardon High School is something none of us will forget. Tonight, a look at the images from the last few days that need no words.